Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about how I finish the bass guitar. So without further ado, let's cut straight to it. So what I'm doing here is just applying the D-Wax shellac with a hate brush onto the body. That's just to seal the wood. Now, I use D-Wax shellac for pretty much all my woodworking projects as a sanding sealer and to make it I use D-Wax shellac flakes mixed with um, isopropyl alcohol. As you can see I'm, I'm just sealing the pickup cavities, I'm going to seal the electronics cavity and the uh, neck pocket as well. Now the reason for it is it will help the stain go on more evenly. Here I'm just repeating the process on the back side of the body. So what I'm doing here is applying some yellow water-based stain. It's a stain from Crimson Guitars and it's the first stage in creating the sunburst pattern. Here I'm just applying the orange water-based stain as the second stage of the sunburst pattern. Now we're adding in the red. Thank you. 
sticking with red just for the backside instead of doing another sunburst. result of the sunburst pattern. This is after two layers of the Crimson Guitar Stunning Stains after it's dried. And now it's on to finishing the neck. First, I masked off the entire fretboard so it was prepared and ready for the finish to be applied. So I've masked off the neck where it meets the body. This will create a more consistent finish with the true oil. For the neck, I'm using True Oil. Here I'm just applying the first layer of many. Here's the neck after one layer of Dewatch Shellac Sanding Sealer and three layers of True Oil. And here is the final finished neck after six layers of True Oil. The next video is going to be about installing the hardware for the base. So I'm going to be putting on the bridge, putting on the knot doing a setup um, and then also a sound demo so if that's something that you're interested in then make sure you subscribe and like this video and stick around thanks